Hello and welcome to a tutorial on the Shield X Manager Discord bot. This bot allows you to customize achievements, a currency system, factions, a shop system, inventory system, and much more, all inside your server. This is a really flexible bot, but it can also be very confusing to a new user, so I'm going to make a tutorial on how to use my new bot. So, there are many different types of achievements that you can make. You can make achievements for saying a custom message like, hello, and now we've completed an achievement. And you can see that if I actually check my inventory, I have a new item that I can use from the achievement. And if I use that item, I get the role newbie. And as the server owner, I can customize the role to my likings before any player gets it. And then when a player is rewarded the role, they will have their custom role. The role is automatically created when using the achievement creation command, which we will look at later on in the tutorial. There's also a shop. That you can use. Sorry, it seemed to have lagged there. You can use your established currency to buy items in the shop. I'm going to use a developer command to allow me to get more currency. Buy items by typing shop and then whatever item you want to collect. Now you can see that we have the pentagon in our inventory. If we buy the square and the triangle, you can see we have them all in our inventory and we completed the achievement Polygon Master and we earned the Chili Gun, which it has a thousand points. That's why you have a thousand of them. And you can view all the achievements by using the achievements command. So let's learn how to make this. First, we're going to set up our shop. You can see there is nothing in the shop. We have no achievements. So let's create a new item. You can create a new item using the manage shop command. All commands can be found in the admin help section. You can check if you are an admin by using the vibe check command. If you use the manage shop command, you can add, remove, or sort an item. Sorting allows you to put items into categories, which allow the item to be specified for achievements. Adding and removing should be explanatory. To add an item, type add. Type the item's name. We are going to add triangle to the shop. Give it a category or you can type none if you don't want it to have a category. Categories are used to be specified for achievements. We're going to add pigons to this. Polygons. Cost is next, where we are going to make it cost 50, and we are going to make it limited. So we will type true. Limited means you can only buy it once. This is especially helpful if you want a person to have to buy a collection of items for an achievement, but you don't want them to be able to buy the same item over and over again um, enough times to unlock the achievement. And so true locks the item after one purchase. Next we can specify the count of how many we want the player to receive on purchase, and then we can give it the description. For this I will type, it's a triangle. 
with an exclamation mark. We can see that we successfully added the item triangle. Next, I'm going to add the item square and pentagon. You can see that these are all the tr the same command as the triangle, except modified for the amount that the player received to be the same amount of points it has, and for the names to be different. Now, if we check our shop, we can see we have all three items. Now let's create an achievement for completing the procedure of buying all the items. We're going to start off with our prefix X SX. Now we're going to type the command manage achievements. Once again, these can all be viewed in the admin help section. You can add or remove an achievement. You just have to specify the achievement ID. You can specify the action required to earn the achievement, the sub action, the goal, the reward, the title of the achievement, the count, aka the amount that not the title is not the title of the achievement, it is the title of the reward, unless you're using bits. The count, which is the amount, this is for item and bits, but not roll. And description, which is the description of the achievement, not the reward. Next, we're going to add our achievement. We're going to call it master temporarily. We're going to make it so you have to buy pigons three since we have three and they are limited so you cannot buy three triangles three squares of three pentagons but one of each item so we are going to reward the player with an item chili gun one thousand of them since it has one thousand points in the description will be earn the trophy of the polygon master exclamation point next we can check our achievements and we can see it is there now the word master isn't particularly well stunning it seems kind of simple and bland especially with the lack of a capitalized first letter and you may have noticed that we can only use one word for our achievement but back here we have two words for achievements or maybe three or four that brings us to our next command which is incredibly helpful for shop items and achievements but removes the ability to be able to well remove them because it turns into a multi word so this command is the display names command where you can specify whether it's an achievement or shop item by typing a shop or achievements, the ID of the item, which would be master in our scenario, and we are going to rename it to Polygon Master. Now you can see in the achievement section we have the achievement Polygon Master, earn the trophy of the Polygon Master. Now we are going to create our next achievement where we are going to make the player say hello and return they will receive a consumable item which they can use to get the role newbie. So we are going to add a new achievement with the manage achievements command. We're going to add one, we're going to call it FW, and then we're going to make the action send custom message. We're going to make the message hello with an exclamation mark. We're going to put one since they cannot receive more than one un of since they only have to say hello once to receive the reward. We're going to make the reward roll. We're going to call the roll newbie. And just to show we do not have the roll newbie preset. One since they will only need to receive one roll. And the description will be say hello. Now we are going to change its name 
to first words. Now, if we view the achievements, we can see that we have the achievement first words, say hello, and polygon master, earn the trophy of the polygon master. If we go to the shop, we have the triangle, the square, and the pentagon. Now we can customize our newbie role. With whatever we want. Now let's try this out. If we say hello, we complete the achievement. We can check our inventory and use the newbie item. And you can see we now have the newbie roll, which has the same color that we customized. And if you wanted to, you could even make it display separately. You can give them custom permissions and other things. This could be helpful if you wanted to make a verification section where you would have a player say a certain message to verify themselves. Next, let's try out our shop achievement. I used the developer command earlier that allows me to boost my bits. And so if we look at the shop, we can buy a triangle, a square, and to show you, you cannot buy one of these items twice. You cannot own any more of this item. And you see, this also doubles as a leveling bot, which I was going to show later, but it appears that I guess I should show it now. For talking rewards you with XP, and you gain currency for talking and leveling up. Now, if you buy the final item, the Pentagon, and say, say something to trigger the achievement, you can see we completed the achievement, Polygon Master. And in our inventory, we have the Chili Gun. Now, as I was, I was going to showcase this now, but it kind of barged its way in earlier, the XP system, where talking will reward the player with XP, and leveling up will reward the player with bits. But bits are not the only thing the player is rewarded with. There's a team system to this, where you can view the teams with sx.teams. Currently there are no teams. You can create a team or join a team by doing sx.join team name. And to name this team, tutorial. If the team name does not exist, it will create the team. You can view teams by doing sx.teams. You can view the normal commands by doing sx.help. View sx.stats in the team name, in our case it's tutorial, to see the stats of the team. You can earn points for your team every time you level up. And you can see on the leaderboards, teams, and their points. Points are sort of an incentive. They don't really do anything, but that will be updated if you would like to see that. Perhaps a points system for the achievements? Or maybe an achievement that detects points. Anyways. These are all the default commands. These are all the admin commands. You can customize the emojis for points and bits by doing sx.point or bit emoji and then the emoji you want it to be. Let's make the point emoji money bags and the bit emoji 
tickets. You can see we have we now have nine hundred ninety nine thousand eight hundred fifty four tickets. And we check our team. Our team has zero money bags. Although if we were to start chatting, we could slowly earn money bags for our team. You can also have other people join your team and help gain points even faster. But I do not have any alternate accounts on the server at the moment, so I will not be able to showcase that. The link to add this bot will be down in the description of this video. I hope you enjoy and I would love to see what you do with this.